Hello students and grown-ups. Now that we practice making a value scale, I want to show you a fun little activity that we can do where we use value to create uh, the idea of space on a flat piece of paper. Um, and this is a really fun way to practice doing value and it also looks really cool. So for this activity, you will need pencil, paper, any kind of paper. And if you have a black marker, that's fine too. Um, but mostly pencil and paper. Now I'm going to show you a fun drawing activity that you can do and it will help you practice your shading and blending skills and it will look really fun. For this project you really just need paper and pencil but if you can you can use a black marker to draw your lines and if you want to use any of these uh, blending tools that I showed you about you can or you could just stick with your pinky finger. So the first thing you're going to do, and you could do this with pencil um, or marker. I'm going to use marker because I think it shows up better on the video. Is to just draw a horizontal line across your paper. And then draw some bumps across that. Oops, I'll do a little one there. And then you're going to just keep adding bumps just to make sure you touch down to that straight line after each bump. It's really got to touch down to this line, so don't skimp there. And you are going to fill this whole paper up, and then you're going to turn it over and do it again on the other side. So I'm going to work on that right now. drawing on its own is really fun with the repetitive lines. I had to kind of make a decision there to just leave it. I'm not sure how that's going to work out, but that happens sometimes, so don't worry about it. Uh, but now that I have these lines drawn, I'm going to start practicing value. So I'm going to use my pencil, and if you want to have a blending tool handy, this is when you'll need it. So what you have to do is these little pinched corners here you'll color nice and dark and then a little bit lighter and do that in every one and I know it seems like a lot of work but it pays off and you're just gonna do that to all of them through the whole picture but after you color it dark to light you can use your blending tool to kind of blend and blend from dark to light too. Don't go back and forth and just and you're gonna see this really fun effect take shape. So I'm gonna work on mine. And you can watch and see, and then you can make one of your own. that is happening right now it really gives the idea of depth and space in this picture and I want to tell you too that you know feel free to move your work so that it's easier to work on you know you don't always have to keep it this way if you need to turn it which I do to color go for it will help you uh, be more comfortable while you're working and if you're more comfortable you probably do a better job okay I'm gonna keep going loving it. The blender is really handy so I'm going to suggest if you do have a q-tip or a folded up napkin to use I would go for it and um, 
you know the way it's gonna look really good is if you take the time and you need to color each one of these little loops separately if you just try to be lazy and color it all at the same time it's not gonna work it does take a little bit of time but it pays off so I want you to finish yours turn it upside down and finish it all and um, if you can take a picture of your finished artwork and email it to me because you know I always love to see what you make <laughs>